हेलो एवरीवन आई एम धर्मेंद्र कुमार चौधरी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेक्सटाइल केमिस्ट्री इन इन आवर ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ थ्योरी ऑफ डाइंग सब्जेक्ट फोर सेमेस्टर टेक्सटाइल केमिस्ट्री ब्रांच टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डाइंग ऑफ एक्रेलिक फाइबर विद बेसिक डाई बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टूडे वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वॉट वर स्टडीड बिफोर दिस वीडियो रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक we had already discuss about the uh, some basics of the uh, some basic concept and chemistry of basic dyes uh, basic dyes have generally as a cation as a larger portion and a smaller anion cation as chromophore group it means the cation is a colored portion or a coloring substance in the basic dye in today lecture we will discuss about the dyeing of acrylic fiber first we will discuss about the what is generally considered in the dyeing of acrylic fiber with basic dyes and what basic points uh, in this and means what problems associated with this dye due to absence of reactive groups or sides it is uh, uh, acrylic fiber is undyeable with any class of dye because acrylic fiber has no reactive gr groups that's why it cannot be dyed very easily easily being a thermostatic man made fiber Uh, means fiber do not melt properly it uh, degrade when uh, come in com when it come in contact to the heat it cannot be the dyed with the dispersed dye at high temperature to avoid formation of only light shades and tendering uh, means uh, the, the due to thermostatic nature of the fiber uh, acrylic fiber it cannot be dyed with the dispersed dye because when it come in contact with the heat fiber starts tendering and uh, degrading that's why uh, dispersed dyeing uh, interruption via uh, via applying high temperature is not possible with acrylic dye acrylic fiber dyeing especially in case of medium and uh, dark shade pure acrylic fiber pure acrylic fiber is uh, tough and brittle and have very high glass transition temperature that is near about 105 degree centigrade so by adding of anionic uh, co-monomer which is generally added in polymerization bath uh, it develops amorphousness flexibility and introduce reactive sites which enable uh, which enabling it to make dyeable at room temperature as we just discussed about acrylic fiber is a tough and uh, brittle and its glass transition temperature is, is very high that's why and uh, and also there is no reactive sites in the fiber structure uh, so that's why uh, to develop the, the dyeability to develop the dyeability capability in the acrylic fiber we modify the acrylic fiber by adding the co-monomer generally we add n any co polymer for in polymerization bath to develop the amorphousness uh, means uh, amorphousness governs the dyeing of any fiber so uh, by adding anionic co-monomer in polymerizations uh, we can develop amorphousness flexibility and introduce reactive sites uh, which enable the uh, dyeing of acrylic fiber rapid opening of fiber throughout its glass transition temperature may be handled by either uh, adding retarding agent in bath or controlling rate of heating so the, when acrylic fiber come in contact with the heats uh, at mm. near about mm. the glass transition temperature its opening is uh, very uh, rapid so it can be controlled by rate of heating our by adding data adding agents so now we will discuss about uh, uh, what types uh, what type of modification which is needed in acrylic fiber for uh, acrylic fiber uh, for uh, its dyeing so as you know acrylic fiber has a very compact structure it also lacks the uh, textile property in its uh, pure is pure state pure state means there is a 100% polyacrylonitrile version that is a pure state so a copolymer of polyacrylonitrile has been produced by adding 5 to 10% neutral copolymer neutral copolymer that is methyl acrylate methyl methacrylate or vinyl acetate to reduce the glass transition temperature and to enable it 
to process in open bath so by reducing the glass transition temperature uh, up to 10 um, by reducing the glass transition temperature by adding the uh, copolymer in polyacrylate nitrile it uh, make uh, and it make possible to process in open bath because at the uh, glass transition temperature uh, very high then it is not possible to process any fiber in the open dye bath like in case of polyester there is a glass transition temperature is 80 degree centigrade so fiber fiber processing is uh, uh, fiber processing is carried out above the glass transition temperature so in case of acrylic by adding the co monomer acrylic fiber can be processed at boiling temperature to which there may be uh, again the, the again the amount of uh, amount our the part of co-monomer uh, present in the polyacrylate nitrile uh, to classify the acrylic fiber like more acrylic acrylic modern polyacrylate nitrile is a copolymer and is produced by adding electrically active ethylene uh, ethylenic uh, co-monomer in polymerization bath uh, produced polyacrylate nitrile has two nomenclature if if the share of co-monomer is uh, less than 15 percent it is named as acrylic if it is uh, greater than 15 percent then it is called mode acrylic as we have just discussed the modification of uh, fiber for dyeing modification of fiber for dyeing if the copolymer co concentration if the copolymer uh, uh, if the copolymer part is uh, less than 15 percent it is named as acrylic fiber again if the copolymer part is more than 15 percent then it is called the mode acrylics so based on electrical nature co monomer uh, based on electrical nature of the co monomer fiber acquire electrical charges uh, that is li sulfuric acid acrylic acid methacrylic acid uh, carry negative charges while vinyl pyridine vinyl while vinyl uh, pyrazine vinyl pyridine act carry positive charges so uh, so if when we introduce the negative charge on the fiber on the acrylic fiber by adding these uh, these co monomers then basic dye is pre preferable and if we add the um, uh, copolymer which introduce cationic charge on the fiber uh, in this case acid dye is pref preferable that is the very uh, some basic structures chemical formula of the co these copolym copolymer that is allyl sulfuric acid that is acrylic acid here we introduce so3 so3 group uh, SO2 SO3 group in the fiber structure it means there is the negative groups and here we introduce COO minus uh, COOH group so ultimately COO minus ion, ion so in the next today in this video we have discussed about very basic property of the acrylic fiber and how basic dyes is associated with the acrylic fiber or we can say why basic dyes is most pref preferable in case of acrylic fiber and then what basic problem associated with the uh, uh, dyeing of acrylic fiber that is uh, dyeing of acrylic fiber with basic dyeing that is the high glass tension temperature in pure state of polyacrylate nitrile fiber so we reduce the glass transition temperature first to make the acrylic fiber diable at the boiling temperature or near about then modifications uh, by adding copolymer uh, that may be a polyacrylonitrile is maybe acrylic fiber or maybe mode acrylic fiber thank you again we will continue this topic in next video